Hey, boo. Hey, welcome to another message here with me, Duchess, where we're going to find out all the details of what you need to know right now. Please remember, this is a general collective reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind, and it's definitely timeless. So whenever you run into it, there should be messages for you. And if you haven't checked out the details to come hang out with me for a three-day week, can retreat the three-day tarot summer party in Orlando. Definitely check that out. We're going to have a hell of a good time healing, meditating, manifesting, okay? Crystal healing. We're having a dance party. We eat good food. It's going to be the time of your life. So check it out or you can even take a one-on-one -on -one retreat with me. Now, let's go ahead and see here. Spirit, give us insight what is coming here for the collective? We got the forces of nature favor you. So it looks like there's some energy here that's going to be working in your favor. What I love here about the green man is that it's this energy of flourishing, growth, right? Because when we think of nature, we think of growth. We think of um, trees and leaves and even with this green here, right? So there's something here I feel like that's really working in your favor and i feel like it's something that's going to be very stable right because when we think of nature we think of grounded energy we think of a sense of stability here so there's definitely something going in your favor okay let's talk about it what's going in their favor what's going in their favor we got here oh look you're overcoming some sort of conflict conflict and danger lie in wait. So it looks like there are certain forces watching over you right now, helping you to either overcome some conflict or avoid some conflict. I'm hearing completely avoid some messy energy, avoid things that get you locked up in energies that aren't working for you here. You're really being divinely protected and guided at this time. You're being protected here from drama. Okay, let's talk about it. Something negative. Let's see what's going on. Tell us more here tell us more for the collective look i love it so because you're being protected here by this conflict and this danger and and all of that what's happening is you are being divinely led here towards honor and good luck okay so i feel like there are certain forces that have been trying to work against you and whether this be something specific that you know of or this could possibly be something behind your back i know the tea leaves there's this one card that's called the bat and it says there's enemies working against you behind your back and a lot of times when there's stuff behind your back you don't know right but it doesn't matter if you know or not because you know who does know the source god spirit the universe the divine okay knows here that there's some sort of energy that's trying to bring conflict even with this dagger it almost could seem like for some of you a stab in the back or something here where it's like you being in this predicament but instead, you're not going to be in the predicament at all. So especially if this is from somebody that's plotting to create this, they're going to be looking stupid because the, it's not going to work. Okay, if it's energetically something that's trying to come towards you, it's not going to work. For some of you, there's actual people trying to, you know, evil eye and send you negative energy. It's not going to work. Okay, maybe they come in and trying to put certain drama towards you. No. Whatever this is, you have honor and good luck. So it's like you're the force of nature favor you. So it's like whatever comes against you, it's not going to work. OK, so it's like right now you're really shielded and very much protected from this conflict that lies in the way. It says use your skills here to aid others. We're going to pull more of these. And we got here, beware of who you trust. See, look, look at this, okay? There's someone that you're being protected from, it seems like, okay? Or some ones. It could be a group of people for some of you. And it looks like here that there are certain people here that want something out of you. Either wants your energy, your time, your attention. Maybe they want you to do something for them. Maybe they want you to work for them or, you know, give them favors, give them money. There's somebody that's wanting something here, okay? And I feel like you even are getting signs and signals here that are helping you realize that there's a certain person or persons that are bringing nothing but conflict, bringing nothing but dangerous situation or drama, negative situations into your life. 
You're realizing here that you need to think twice about who you trust and who you give your time, energy, and resources to, baby. Yes, okay? So there's something here where you're being divinely protected and guided. So you may be seeing signs and signals here about this certain person or, or institution, a group of people, okay? Um, it could be loud and clear, but like I said, it could be things going on behind your back, but I still feel like if it's behind your back, you're still going to be made aware of this because that's where we got beware of who you trust, okay? You're going to be made aware of this conflict that they're bringing in, in, into play. You're going to be aware here of how they're getting in the way of your, your um, journey towards honor and good luck. Let's talk more about this person. Spirit, give us insight here about who's trying to block the collective and how it's not going to work here. Give us more insight. Oh, that's it. I don't know why I don't want to put it. So we got here a four pentacle. See, look, this is somebody that's trying to hold on tight to you. Okay. They're trying to hold on tight to you, hold on tight to your resources, maybe your mental health, whatever it may be. It's like they're holding on and holding on. And I feel like this energetically is draining or it creates blockages. It's not really a positive thing here. It's like, once again, you know, a warning about someone that's trying to bring some sort of toxic energy, okay? And so this person might just be very needy or clingy or, you know, have demands or something with this four of pentacles, but uh, no, okay? Tell us more here. We got page of swords. See, this is somebody that wants to try to force a narrative on you, okay? Or manipulate your mind or you know, try to make you see things their way or do things their way here with this page of swords. And so it seems like whatever their way is, is it's not trustworthy. That's not the, it's a wolf, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I like that it's called the wolf. The way that they're trying to tell you or the energy they're trying to push towards you, whatever they got to say, this is not what you're supposed to be in. This is their will. This is what they want. This is how they want things. And it's like spirit is saying that no, you're not supposed to be subjected to whatever they're bringing. So I feel like this person thinks they're a little bit slick and sly because I always see the page of swords as somebody that's really trying to fight for their own wants and say what they got to say. But look at this one. He really is looking slick and sly. He's looking up to it, honey. Okay. So I feel like this person right now feels like they will say and do whatever they got to here to really get you in compliance is the word I'm hearing to comply, to cooperate, um, to use your your skills towards them, your time, your energy, your resources, whatever it is towards them. Hmm. But as you do that, it blocks your pathways towards good luck and fortune. That's why you can't really trust this person. And that's why they're saying beware who you trust because this person will say and do anything. This person, unfortunately, will lie, okay? Will cheat, will scheme here just to get their way because they want to hold on to you so, so tightly. So this is not necessarily someone you could trust as already stated. Tell us more here about this person. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups. So look. Again, this is someone that it seems like this person may adore you or there could be certain things here you may adore about them or y'all could may have some sort of connection where it feels like you really want to hold on to this person. But ultimately, again, there are certain red flags that are going to be coming out that's going to make you see here. And that's because the forces of nature are trying to protect you here from this person, even if there's some good. Four of Cups, exactly. There are certain things you don't see about this person. You see she's looking over at these cups and this is like certain things about this person, this Page of Swords energy here. So it's like Spirit's trying to show you, hey, look, there's someone in the midst here who's really draining you, who's really a wolf in sheep's clothing, who's really, um, you know, not really putting you first or having your best interests at heart. And I don't even feel like this person's necessarily malicious towards you, but they're not putting you first or they don't have your best interests at heart. There's something in their energy where they block your blessings instead of open up the pathway. So let's give an example. Okay. So say for instance, you have an overbearing family member. Okay. And this person wants to give you advice constantly on what you should be doing with your life, who you should be hanging out with, what you should be doing. And this advice is horrible. It's not even good advice. And so this person is constantly leading you in the pathway that you don't want to be on. Okay. They got you, you know, doing things and saying things in actual type of way that blocks your blessings instead of opens up your blessings. And so this could be something so simple because it happens so easily. I found myself 
plenty of times in situations where there are certain people that really act like friends and they love you and this, this and that, but deep down inside, because their heart's not pure, okay, they can't help but to sabotage a little bit. Whether it come from jealousy, whether it come from neediness, whether it come from control issues, what whatever it may be. And so this person does allow themselves here to now allow that more shadow energy to navigate you guys' this connection. So this is someone here. The spirit is wanting you to know that they may be causing a scene or saying something, trying to manipulate here. What's the advice here? Because I feel like the spirit's warning you about this so you can stay strong because there is some sort of love or affection, some sort of adoration, some sort of tie here to this person. Okay. There's something here where it, it could seem difficult. And that's why it's like you're being divinely protected and helped here to move away from this person, even though it won't be easy. We got the moon. Yes. Yeah, see, it's not easy. It's something that you would get stuck in your head here um, thinking about. So like I said, for a lot of you, this could definitely be like a family member, a best friend. It could be um, a spouse. It could be anyone. Okay. And it's like, even if the person's toxic, you could move away from it without fully cutting them off. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, well, I can't really trust what this person has to say. I don't really have to share everything in my life with this person. I don't really have to go to this person as a, for advice. I don't have to see them as a confidant. You get what I'm saying? Like there's certain red flags that are telling you about this. Look, eight of swords. See, and this is the thing. It's like what happens is as you get closer with this person or deal with this person, it makes you feel bound and trapped, bound and trapped. It holds you back from the good fortune, the blessings that you're supposed to have. Something about their energy is very restrictive. Knight of Swords. Okay. Three of Swords. Hmm. of cups so they're saying here that this energy this is someone that's gonna continue to try okay it's like the more you try to pull away from them the more they try to get closer or the more you try to um not really listen to their advice the more they're gonna give advice okay it's like this type of energy so you're pretty much gonna be protected from this energy let's see how you're getting protected from this because i need to know we Okay, Spirit, give us insight here. How are they overcoming this person's energy? How are they being protected, watched over here when it comes to this wolf in sheep's clothing? Look, okay, so there's going to be some sort of new start that comes and pretty much lands on your lap, okay? So this could be something here that's leading you towards that good luck and honor and prosperity, right? But I think that's why you need to see clearly that this person it doesn't have your best interest because they're going to try to block this pathway somehow. Okay. And so it's going to be up to you to set that, that to set the record straight, put that boundary, put that line in the sand. You know what I'm saying? So say for instance, you have been doing favors for somebody, but you can no longer do them because you got to start a new schedule or you got a new hobby you working on, or you're going to start traveling, whatever it may be. And the person is going to try to guilt trip you and you got to have your defenses up and know, I don't need to feel guilty. This is spirit protecting you, letting you know you shouldn't feel guilty at all. Okay. Then you have a new start that you need to be focused on. It's a new season in your life right now. And for this new season, you need to have time to yourself to meditate, to contemplate, to draw within, to connect with source. It's not about everybody else. It's not about this person right now at all. Exactly. And so you're realizing that you are good enough, that you deserve the best here. That you don't have to allow someone here to cipher or siphon, I think is the right word, all your energy out, okay? To take, 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 take. So it's like now you're finally going to start getting blessed here because you're seeing clearly here this taker energy. And as you see it, then you can, like I said, draw that line in the sand. You can create that boundary. Like, you know what? No, I'm not giving. There's nothing more here for you to take right now because I'm focused on following through on my dreams. I'm focused on my happiness. This could be, you know, a lot of times you got you in a new relationship. Then you got a homie, a homegirl that want to start third willing everywhere. OK, or start trying to guilt trip you because you don't want to hang out every five seconds. Skr, bye. Don't want to hear it. You go deal with you and I'm doing me because I'm about to have me a positive love life. OK, or you about to start a new career. Oh, you traveling now? That ain't fair. I, I got to stay here. Don't care. 
Okay. At the end of the day, you're being showed here someone's true colors so you can put yourself first. So it's like, don't waste this, these intuitive nudges. Don't waste nature working in your favor. God working in your favor, giving you that clarity. Okay. Because if not, then you're going to be stressed. If you allow this person to overtake you and hold on and do too much and block you, you're going to be stressed because then at that point, instead of harmoning on them, you're harmoning on your happiness. You're harmoning on your dreams. You're harmoning on your peace. You're harmoning on your stability. Look, and that's devil energy. Exactly. And now you're under somebody else's control. Okay, so right now, Source God, the Divine Spirit here is helping you to get under, get out of the clutches of someone else's um, control, manipulation, game plan, neediness, uh, assertiveness, what is it, aggressiveness, whatever it is, okay? It, it's time for you to get out of that. It's a time for you to draw within here because you don't deserve it. And it's a time for you to step into new, new avenues, new doorways. Because why? That's what you deserve. You don't deserve to be held back. You don't deserve to be um, stifled. Okay? You don't deserve that. But people will do it to you even if it's not just out of their own selfishness. It's not even because they're trying to hurt you. It's just because they want what they want what they want. Ace of Pentacles, right? They want something solid. They want a new start. They want this. They want that. But it's not about what they want right now. It's about what you want. And that's what makes this person a wolf in sheep clothing because they're very selfish. They're very self-absorbed. It's all about what they want. But no, it's not. This is spirit is giving you a wake up call. It's not about what they want. Look at the red flags. OK, it's about what you want. And you don't deserve to have somebody trying to control and assert over you and manipulate you and force things on you because that's not what it's about. We're not doing that. Not now. And sure enough, not in 2024, baby. Okay, so I love this message here because you're standing tall. You're standing strong. The forces of nature are having your back. Okay, and you're realizing here that you need to trust in source, trust in God, the divine, the universe, trust within your higher self, your spirit team, your angels, your guides, your ancestors. That's where you need to put your trust. Not in this person because they obviously cannot. We're going to pull it right back out. Cannot. Be trusted. You got to beware of this person. Don't trust them, honey. Do not trust them. They too damn selfish to trust, unfortunately. Okay. Now, I'd love to see you for the three-day tarot slumber party retreat or any other retreat. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. It all helps times a million. Stars donations are always greatly appreciated and help times a million. Check out my website for goodies or to order a reading. And I'm going to be talking to you later, boo. Yes. Bye.